I lost my wife three years ago, started dating again, and new girlfriend wants to visit my wife's grave. Honestly, probably a pretty good scenario, right? What? The new girlfriend wants to visit his, uh, his, wife's his grave? deceased wife's grave. Yeah, By herself? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we have She's no like, context. Calm alone. you. <laughs> yeah. We need spirits. to talk woman to woman. <laughs> yeah, woman to woman. It's like, yeah. uh, okay. So uh, this comes from uh, Throw R.A. Sad Sad Boone, who says, I am one of many <laughs> who lost someone in the damn 2020. Uh, Y'all know what that's talking about. She was my world, and we had our, all of our future set up. She wanted children, too, by 2021, and then she was gone. And this is OP talking, I believe, about their deceased wife. Mm -hmm. I felt I had lost all sense of purpose, and after an agonizing year, I moved away. Not too far, but not too close either. I didn't feel like I could breathe in that town. Still, every Saturday, I get back and I visit her resting place. I just functioned for about two years. I'm not depressed or anything like that, but I just functioned. Until I met who we will call Ada, we started talking and hanging out together. We got a bit haughty with people. <laughs> uh, haughty. I believe I'm reading that correctly. Oh. As in like... Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, she can be a bit haughty with people she doesn't know well, like like kind of like a like a dick. Yes, there we go. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, um, yeah, kind of like a dick. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know words. Uh, she can be a bit haughty, like a dick, with people uh, she doesn't know well. But I was surprised to find out how sweet and kind she was under the ice. Interesting intro. Um, Okie dokie. Very interesting. What? So. Yeah, just like the <laughs> It, it, it is quite an intro to this new person who's like helping helping their world out and yeah. everything. She likes to do most of the talking herself, which is fine with me because I never know what to say. She knows everything about my wife and this doesn't discourage her. She knows I am doing therapy and still mourning, but she never left me alone. I interpret that as a positive. I asked her to tell me uh, if I do anything or say anything that makes her feel uncomfortable, like she's not a priority. She said that as of now, I am doing nothing of the sort. She knows what I do every Saturday morning, which is visit his deceased wife's grave and never objected to it. But today she said she would like to quote unquote meet her as in accompany me in visiting her grave. That's kind of sweet. I, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that that's a, that uh, that is as weird as I thought it was. Gonna yeah, be. yeah, I mean, like, like I think that's. If it's like it, this sounds weird, but it's like you know how if you want to get close to someone, like take an interest in their interests, like take an interest. He's interested in his dead wife. Take an interest in his dead wife. You know, that's one way of putting it, right? You I know, feel like that was the worst way of putting it. What that that <laughs> makes sense? Does that not make sense? Aoki, I love your Donner party I love joke. Your Donner yeah, party. yeah. I, 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 I say saw it, it, but there wasn't a good time to say yeah. it between the dead wife and the and the stuff. You know, I, well, well, actually, that's probably the best time to talk about a Donner party Donner joke. party stuff. What yeah. was it? What? what? Oh, she made a Donner party joke. Well, like the Donner, Donner, party, Donner party is here. Yeah. Oh, nice. we're watch out! We're yeah, getting we're hungry. Dude, every time we go to a restaurant, overpowering us. What? Wait, what? What's the Donner joke? And every oh, so time we go to a ro restaurant, we're like, hey, Donner, par like, Donner party of eight. And it's like, Donner party, uh, don't get hungry on us. You might eat each other or eat, eat me or whatever. Do you, know the, do you know who the Donner oh. party is? Right? The Donner oh. party pass, basically, like a bunch of these people. From that were, Illinois. From Illinois, oh, right. the Donner party went through the mountains George and then got Donner. stuck. And it was freezing. And then to survive, they ate each other. I don't know. I, I was thinking... <laughs> something else <laughs> yeah this is the, oh wait it's because you guys jesus riley, you're having riley like a panic fucking, attack <laughs> riley wait, 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 wait. that checks that out sam that checks out what does that mean <laughs> what that checks out are you what ready is, this is explicit oh god what because you said you eat out way better than you give <laughs> <laughs> riley's going crazy <laughs> Wait. Guys, we've had what? Riley on the show for way too Eat long. Eat out better than what, Riley? <laughs> then you then you do the That's what you talk Oh, I'm then so I give sorry. hand jobs? <laughs> Riley, we've just established that our cousin is watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Family think, is on the line. I mean, it's I think it's probably true. What? I just don't cut my nails <laughs> enough. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Alex, tell him to stop. Please. <laughs> Oh God! Everyone, Riley has been streaming nonstop yeah. and still switching like a champion. Cass, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like might I add, we've lost might Riley. I add, every single frame switch, <laughs> flawless frame switch has been him at the. Key. <laughs> I'm just on autopilot right now. Yeah. Oh, Alex Riley says I don't fine. have a YouTube account. I'm just a little stalker oh. on this platform. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, make a YouTube account. But that checks out. That checks out. 
Thanks. Oh my god. Anyway. Wow. Let's get back to the story. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it had more stuff. Okay. So <laughs> Opie says, I feel conflicted about this. I respect and feel touched by her wish. On And on another, it feels <laughs> weird for a guy to take the new girlfriend where the wife is buried. How should I approach this? Is it too soon? Should I ask her to wait for that? I feel like you let her visit, dude. Yeah. I also understand wanting to have that kind of as my like your own solo time. Yeah. I could I, I could see yeah. like I've most definitely never been in OP scenario and yeah. I could see just the way that feelings can get complicated around those type of things being unsure. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe he just wants like that to just be like him and his wife. Exactly. You know, and he doesn't yeah, want like a weird a like point. after the grave threesome just with like, his current my new, girlfriend. My new girlfriend. De- Deidre Statham said. What the? F- <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh my okay. God. We okay. keep the show we have the to show that immediately. <laughs> Who made it? <laughs> Riley is having a full blown uh, uh, attack. <laughs> Y'all are crazy in the okay, Discord. Okay, second, if you haven't second, already second. joined the Discord, <laughs> y- you should one hundred percent do. No, don't show them yet. Don't show them yet. Don't, don't show them yet. Up. I was gonna queue it up. Okay, you, you can queue it up. But oh my god, y'all are crazy. Wow. Go into the go into if you want to see Discord something right fucking now. crazy, go to the Discord and check out Riley's uh <laughs> Riley's channel. Well, All right, let's you. go. Let's go back to the story okay. and then we'll okay. show We're the Riley up, thirst trap. Guys, just. <laughs> Join the Discord and go and Riley. Riley, Riley, Riley get milk. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> we have relevant comments. We have relevant comments. John is desperately I'm, trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm steering the ship. Like, oh. These guys we gotta read. Okay, so relevant comments. Your wife would want you to continue your life, especially since Ada wants to integrate her into your relationship. Uh, yes, OP says. Uh, we have talked about it many times that we both wanted to be happy if one of us passed on. Have Never you had that talk with your girlfriend? I haven't. Damn. No. I just never crossed my mind, honestly. When, I'm not bro, a very morbid person. When, bro, when do you have that talk? Yeah. Yeah. When do you have that talk, John? <sighs> Soon, I guess. Yeah, that's, dude. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my God. I love John trying to steer the ship away. <laughs> Soon. Uh, what about yeah. the story? Yeah. yeah, John. So back to the story. <laughs> never thought it actually happened. Ada has been nothing but respectful and tactful when I talk to her or show her things and pictures. Opie clarifies on when he visits his wife. To clarify, I don't do anything dramatic like talking to her grave or crying my eyes out when I visit. I just keep it clean, water the flowers, and replace the dead ones. Check the wear and tear around the stone and clean the glass with their picture. Yeah, Damn I feel it. like I That's understand really that not wanting to have someone in that space. Yeah, it's like it's almost it's a like a personal thing. It's almost like when you're meditating or yeah. something. You're like, hey, I just kind of want this time for myself. Yeah, yeah. Really which I think is okay. I, I think, think it's so okay. Too. Someone said check my thing in the we'll discord there. is there oh, yeah. is there there's weird a lot there? it's coming lot. guys join the discord if you join the discord see. and we're, we'll we're we'll, we'll do a little fresh of it it's okay great. <laughs> op adds uh, another comment with some details some details i left out from the original post ada and i met last april and we hit it off immediately we are not currently living together and we divide our time between our two places but we are planning on sharing a home permanently she has been clear she would like our relationship to blossom into something long term and she is fine with a long engagement before for the eventual marriage. Tiffany Gomez says, I already told my husband that if I die, he has to die sad and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Tiffany. <laughs> Love the energy. She is very clear and no BS about what she wants and needs, but at the same time, she is patient and understanding. I love this woman and want to make her happy. So more on Ada. Ada is very headstrong and determined person, but on this, I find a patience and a kindness in her that are close to infinite. She doesn't get upset when I'm a bit sad or thinking about my late wife. She understands. When we first started sleeping in the same bed, I shared with her, it felt a little weird and also a little bit like cheating on my late wife, which mm. like, dude, it's all we, I mean, we've had several of these stories and it's just so tough because you never left the relationship. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's such a tough thing to go through. Again, no anger or upset on her part. She said, she would probably feel the same if she was in my shoes and but he did have the the what he he said he had the conversation with his wife about like wanting them to have relationships if they if either of them died so yes he did i feel like you shouldn't ever feel like you're cheating on your late partner because i think like your partner probably wants you to be happy um ideally but uh i totally understand that it's like weird yeah i I feel like op's 
what I'm interpreting is like Opie's like I know logically I've already made peace with it and I do want to move on but there's just kind of this like weird subconscious kind of feeling that he still has yeah. like around yeah understandable ladies and gentlemen there is an update let's freaking get there it there is an update let's do it I talked about this with my therapist. A great idea. She feels that based on what she knows about Ada and the way uh, she's always behaved about this, that bringing her to my wife's grave will probably be a very positive thing. I told Ada that if she feels like it, I would be glad to take her with me this Saturday. <laughs> what? Aramay says, how does the golden rule apply with past spouses, Sam? <laughs> how many Break it down. Break it down, buddy. That's all you. The mic is yours. The floor is yours. <laughs> can, can we just keep reading? We're going to keep reading, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, um, Ada was happy to hear this. She usually works on Saturday mornings, but said that she would take the morning off from me. I felt a bit of an emotion. I can't define about this, but I think it's a good thing. And there's another update we're going to roll right on into. Some in additional info and an update. Some Redditors and some people around us were worried that my relationship with Ada is a rebound. I admit that I too was worried about that. And Ada told me she didn't have long lasting expectations at first. We began dating in April of 2023. But as things progressed and she saw my intentions are serious and I'm committed, her doubts about me were gone. She says we were made of the same stuff. We were two loyal, committed, and hardworking people and she wants a future with me. And so do I, with her. We are looking for a new place to share, and I'm looking for the ring to make my proposal. Whoa. We're there. We're there, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. I will admit that one of my biggest concerns is that I don't want to take advantage of her goodwill, even if unintentionally. Her kindness and patience are near infinite, but I told her I don't want our relationship to be all about my past. It would not be fair for her. She reassured me that she didn't feel taken advantage of and that I do lots to make her feel loved and appreciated for who he is. But at the same time, she recognizes this is a part of me she's willing to accept to be with me, being that Opie's current situation. She sounds kind of great. She sounds pretty freaking kind of incredible great, yeah great dude. great matchup here. like incredible honestly matchup. i feel like green flag if your current partner wants to visit your ex-partner yeah. with you at the grave dude like that's a weird green flag but i'm gonna say it's a green flag it's a green flag it's a green flag this might be the f this might be the first like wholesome dead spouse story <laughs> i'm struggling to think of one where they were like <laughs> <laughs> Truly, love though. wholesome dead spouse stories. No, no, no. When I'm like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. God. This story about this this wife dying, I fucking really love. But usually, no, I see what you like, mean. Though they're like yeah. jealous or yeah. Like, no, Mint says yeah. sounds really healthy. Love bubble says green flag for support. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. Remember yeah. the last the last one we did was um they rebounded and then eventually the the person was like uh. Oh, was I just a rebound or something? Yeah. Like started acting really immature. I think maybe even cheating on him or something. Mm. So yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That's right. Positive. To my surprise, everyone approves of us. My parents, Ada's parents, and my late wife's mother. We never got backlash. I mean, when you have the late wife's yeah. mother's yeah. approval, mm -hmm. that's a win. You're you're in the clear, a my win friend. Is a win. Opie continues to say, however, I had unexpected things come up tomorrow. I have to cover for a sick coworker, which means I'll be taken all morning and a great part of the afternoon. It happens, and when it happens, I either go on Friday or Sunday. I decided to go this afternoon. Uh, we are in Europe. It's evening here. And I asked Ada if she wanted to come along, and she readily agreed. So we didn't talk much during the drive. When we arrived, we made our way to, our, to my wife's tombstone. And I said, well, here she is. <laughs> <laughs> Salt burn. There you go. No, Riley, no. <laughs> Don't salt. You haven't even seen it. I know, but now I know what happened with the the, the no. wait. The, they hook up with the grave, right? Yeah. You, okay. Shh, shh, shh. Wow. It's a good thing I don't watch movies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I fetch the water for the flowers and start my usual routine. Ada just crouched as if to examine it. Then she helped me with the caretaking routine, removing the dead leaves and flowers and cleaning the pitcher and the light. We took a, round, a walk around the cemetery, which might sound weird, but it's not unusual here as cemeteries double as parks here. Then we set outside for a smoke before the drive back. 
We talked for a bit, and Ada, who's quite the stoic, got a little emotional. She was happy that I let her in on such what for me is a particularly intimate and sacred experience, but also shaken because after all the talking we had done of my late wife, she subconsciously thought of her as someone who she'd want to meet and be friends with, but seeing the grave reminded and cemented the fact that this amazing woman is gone. It was a bit of a shaking for me too, seeing her tear up, since she's the most stoic woman I've ever met, but also made me think of how this woman is such a rare gem. I don't don't doubt that in any different circumstance, my late wife and Ada would have been great friends. And I am a very lucky guy for not finding just one, but two amazing women, which gave and still give me oh. meaning to life every day. Damn. Damn. I wish to thank all of you guys for the beautiful comments and well wishes and love that you all poured uh, to me, Ada, and my late wife. Despite the tragedy and pain I endure, I feel extremely lucky and blessed to have found another chance at life and with two wonderful, beautiful, intelligent, and amazing women that give meaning to it. I just want to say that whenever you are suffering, even if life seems to be a dark void, there were always and there is always a light and another way forward. Wow. What a great ending to the story. That's awesome. I picked wholesome stories. I do wholesome stories every 50 episodes. Riley, <laughs> you know what? We can up the ratio. Uh, we should. Riley yeah. Riley has been uh, a proponent for it. It's yeah. not. It's kind of hard to find. I, be have, honest. I also made a new episode that's wholesome stories. First, yeah. So we have two of those. But let's get away from all this wholesome <laughs> and go straight into the smut that's in our Discord. Oh, <laughs> dear. If you haven't so joined our March, Discord. Yes, it right. is past my bedtime. Yeah. Here we go. This is what I was shown in the discord <laughs> earlier today <laughs> so well, riley can you break, can you describe for anyone that who's not like deep deep <laughs> in the okop community could you break down exactly what's happening here <laughs> okay so I'm big there's protein. so many jokes in that yeah right yeah. i'm big protein someone was like let's make a logo for big protein wait and, can you can you tell and, people why you are called big protein because yeah, it's well, an origin story yeah the origin i got a big no, no, this is, shut the fuck out, Riley. Riley, no. Riley, no. Where's the water? Oh, no, man. No, Riley. No. Okay, 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 okay. So this is actually what happened. John kind of forgets us. So I, um, I remember this. Do you remember? Oh yeah. Okay. No, no, no. This what goes. This goes. This goes way back before Bali. What? So, yeah. It goes before Bali. It does go before Bali, and then it caught on even harder in Bali. Okay. So me and John were working one day, and um, I was I got like this big thing of protein. And he listened to the song Hillbillies by Kendrick Lamar. And in the song, there's like big protein. Big and, protein, big protein. And I think it has to do something with like that. I live in like the huh. the hillbilly area. Uh. So I think it might have came to his mind. And then he said big protein. But it came to my mind because of the big protein. Oh, OK. Because uh. this thing's like fucking huge. I got yeah. downstairs. Um, but he saw that and he's like big protein. And then when I went to Bali, I would just get protein shakes. He got protein single. shakes like uh, multiple times a day. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was insane. Yeah, so I, I did that, and uh, I got the nickname Big Protein, but people made some logos. This one's really cool, actually. I like the shades. If you could add the shades, the shades are really <laughs> cool. Uh, but And then I I hoard, also, I hoard out. I, yeah. I, they sent me money, and I showed On a stream, kids. someone sent $2 to, for Riley to show his nipples. No, John, no, no. John you... said no, and then we got 2500 And, and so... I said, show your nips, not thinking that he would, and he did. And yeah. then someone took a screen grab and put it in our subreddit. <laughs> and this is what they made. Yeah, and now we have nipple tassels inspired yeah. by Riley. It looks like you're bleeding. Nope. Yeah, I am. No, it's red nipple tassels. Oh, I thought it was bleeding too. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we have in this chat? Can we like zoom in more? Um, I'm just like scrolling through to see if anybody else has any. Okay, let's look at Sam's though. What is there anything of mine? Also, if you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. What, what are you doing? I can't. I can't even see what's being said. Yeah. Well, you'll just have to read it. But try, I don't know. try try uh, Windows Plus and see if it yeah. can just blow up the text a bunch. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Keep blowing it up. Keep blowing it up. Blow it up. Uh, I don't think you can see this. Yeah. Okay. Well, can you at read least it? the people on the video? Yeah. Maybe one or two more. They could probably. Aoki says, "I admit to being the one who put the nips in Reddit." <laughs> that was you, Aoki. That's Aoki. Really awesome. <laughs> Exposing yeah. Riley's nips. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Go to the. We're, we'll figure out a way to get a Discord segment. I think we're gonna in integrate this a little bit more. Um, but yeah. stay, stay up to date. Well, we're gonna start interviewing people through Discord too. Ah, uh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. If you, if we put, we we could also do. Uh, uh, Calicolin says the link isn't working for me. Well, 
We'll get that working. <laughs> well, no, I, what? I don't know how to use this. The way that you said it, you were like, well. <laughs> oh, they got <laughs> this one too. I like this one. There's like a a, a link with the invite. We're working on a it, PO box. Uh, this, is, this is so oh, good, cowboy. Yeah. dude. Riley's is the best. Yeah, this that's is, great. That's Riley's cool. getting the like. <laughs> the fact one? that you guys are doing this just like touches my soul. Yeah. yeah. Can it, I have one where I'm a worm? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm wearing a crown. <laughs> That's all I want. Yeah, crown I like worm. respond to mine. If you guys respond to yours, it, they'll. We'll, we'll That's true. It's good energy. It's good. We energy. haven't joined yet. Sometimes yeah. I lurk, and then sometimes I I heart things. <laughs> <laughs> I like that y'all are involved. But yeah. should we get into this next story? Let's do it. Oh, oh, we got somebody in kick. Thank goodness. Hey, hey. Nobody, hey. Totally nobody has Duffy. joined. Our Is kick. this live? Yes, it's live. That's oh, wow. thanks right. for joining. Yeah, we appreciate yeah, you. Oh, totally not Duffy. Oh, one God, follower. What a kick username. One follower and kick. We just we, every we, kick oh, username. I'm like, that is such a kick Duffy. username. Yeah, totally not Duffy <gasps> says. I am not yay. making a you smut say... channel in Discord. Stop <laughs> <asking>. <laughs> that's that's what Riley's channel is anyway. Yeah, dude. It's, what are you talking <laughs> about? You Your channel to? is oh, my channel. Oh, no. uh, we'll do another. We'll do another call oh, after Riley. we finish some more of these stories in 350. Oh, Found ring while hiking. And this Ooh. comes from S. McNasty. I found this ring while hiking. Have posted in the area. I found it in Fresca groups. Is this ring real, even worth holding on to for someone to contact me? Would it be worth visiting jewelers in the area? Would they be able to identify who it belongs to? And that is a picture of the oh, ring right wow. there. Oh, wow, okay. Comment, she at it's anyway says i'm pretty sure those are sold at k jewelers if you take it in they might have a serialized on the main stone possibly oh. so like a little code then comment from op i posted all over areas hiking pages and also the park pages it's a touristy area there is a k jewelers though i can go monday and see if anything turns up so basically op found a ring and is trying to find the owners so Very we're on, nice. we're on like a little little hunt for the owners okay then a comment from Bubblebee54, I have a similar ring from Leo Diamonds, and I bought it at Kay's Jewelry. It will always have a serial number on it, and I recommend taking it in or take it to the police department after you get the serial number from Kay's. Give them all the info you got and where you found it. Do not leave the ring at the store. Take it to the police department. And then we have an update comment from OP. Thanks. I'll try to remember to drop it by with an update if Kay's any help. Update. Took it to K's. Oh. They can't identify it. They can only tell me it is a Leo's diamond slash a Leo collection. My buddy who does security at the hospital I work at is a sheriff. I'll talk to him and see what the best course of action is. That really will wait until Monday as that's when I work next. I'll call the little information center of the park where I found it as well. I went to another K's and they were even less helpful than the first one. Also, the police were no help at all as well. I need to make an update post. I found the owner of the ring. It'll be January at least before I can get it back to them as they are six hours away from me and I leave tomorrow for Germany until January. The lady who has all the documents proving the ring is hers went to the police when she lost it and they wouldn't even take a report. So taking it there would not even be helpful. So then a comment says silly bunny 22. They say if it was a Hallmark movie, she was hiking with her hot shot businessman boyfriend who was on business calls the whole hike. Then did a quick proposal request to merge their businesses, but drop the ring. But he's just too busy slash important to look for it. And it was a cheap placeholder. He promised is to get her a much better one at Tiffany's back in the city. Poor girl is just waiting for that handsome woodsy man to show up with the cheap ring and sweep her off her feet because family and quality time are most important to him. And there is an update. So the owner of the ring found me from one of the posts I made on the Facebook group and was able to provide all the documentation proving the ring was hers. Turns out she lost the ring months ago. Oh. Unfortunately, I will not be able to get the ring to her until at least January as we do not live close to each other and I'll be out of the country from Sunday until January. The owner was very frantic about it initially and was offering to make the six-ish hour drive to meet and get the ring. She had her husband call and I talked to him for a bit. He was fine with the timeline and said we can figure it out when I'm back in town. All in all, they were nice people who were happy the ring was actually found and it wasn't some intricate scam. This is awesome. Some Man. info on the steps I took trying to authenticate her claim to the ring, etc. when I found the ring. I went to K Jewelers. The guy there showed me the code on the diamond and told me it was authentic and told me about the collection. He said the owner would have the paperwork to verify it, etc. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> 
<laughs> and sent me the paperwork. I went to K's again, different location, as I'm in a different city at the moment. This case said they couldn't discuss anything about the ring with me since I was not the owner. They refused to look at the lady's paperwork. I even asked if they could just look at the number, take it down and not tell me. That way the lady could call and verify, etc. with them. And they said no to that as well. The owner called the store while I was there explaining the situation and they still would not do anything. I understand the reasoning, but it was very frustrating and wasted 45 minutes of a busy day. The owner went to the police in town when she first lost the ring and they refused to take a report. So that would have been fruitless. Also, the reason I didn't just take it straight there as this is not very surprising to hear uh, knowing the police here, basically the like police not being helpful. Had to deal with a lot of rude people on Facebook thinking I was trying to scam somehow as well. Right. Finally, disable the comments on the post after it got counterproductive. All in all, an extremely frustrating experience. I just wanted to get this ring back to the owner and ended up having to spend hours running around just to be met with resistance by basically everyone. Oh, well, it worked out in the end. At least it will have once I'm back from my trip. I also got it cleaned and bought a box for it as well. So it'll be in good shape when she gets back. And that's a happily ever ending story. Aww. That's where it ends. Basically, OP found the ring and got it back to the rightful owner, which is freaking awesome. We love to hear it. We love to see it. We love to be it. We love to do it. That's awesome. Uh, Calico Lion says, police there sound annoying. Yeah, I think so. Um, Cassandra Paris there, I feel like it would be more like licking joysticks. What the f*** are you talking about? <laughs> They're talking about Riley's OnlyFans. Someone oh said, oh, 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 Riley's OnlyFans. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Bro, y'all are thirsty. That's good. Y'all are thirsty. That's Baby Godzilla good. says, don't look in John's Discord. What's in John's oh, Discord? Shit. I'm looking now. What's in oh, John's no. Discord? What's oh, my God. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's go. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, zoom in on that's so oh funny. Oh my dude. god. No squint harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh there man. It is. Look oh at yeah, that. dude. I'm looking serious. Looking thick. Dude, that's some that's some protein. Oh, I now love... I see the now I see the the the, the heart nipple tassels. Vic says, look at Sam's. Oh, here we go. What do you guys have in there? Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Love Bubbles says, aside from the ring box, the story was not spicy, but it was wholesome. It was and wholesome. We love wholesome. They said sexy book cover concept for <laughs> Is that Sam. me? Did someone chat GPT, Sam? Someone chat GPT. <laughs> that is, it has to be, right? <laughs> yeah, that's chat GPT. Oh my wow. God, that's so funny. Wow. That's so funny. I mean, that that is him on the regular, low key. Yeah, I am. I do be reading these sexy days. Sexy book, man. Uh, reading. Yeah, I love you guys. Erica or Eric Yer Yer says, says, I love how you guys keep saying no free sponsors, but you keep saying O'Reilly Auto Parts. Well, that's that's. I mean, what is what are the odds that you guys are going to go to O'Reilly's first off? Riley, second off, it's do you great... understand how dedicated and amazing our passionate fan base is? Yeah. I know, but like, so dedicated. You're, you, uh, the reason why I say that is because you guys are girl bosses and you have no right to be working on auto mechanics that's a man's job you don't need to get your hands dirty like that you guys are already working way too damn fucking hard sorry <laughs> whenever i'm talking about gender roles that's what i'm talking about they don't need to be talking working on cars okay go to the mechanic let them Dude. do that Ugh. you guys don't need to sorry you know what if you want to do it you, that's awesome that's fantastic but like you guys work too hard so I, I put Thanks, myself in a Riley. hole. Love it. Um, but you know what i want to dig into what this next story oh <laughs> Also, how many likes are we at? Because we said we were going to do another shot at a thousand likes. Let me, let me, let me, let me one second. Can you hit me with some of that? Some of that sweet, your sweet juices. Hell yeah. I mean, juicy up, big boy. Juice me up. Riley needs a pillow. And Seisha, that he does. Where else can you buy a flux capacitor online? What's That's a, true. What is that? It, it's uh, a, we're at 875, 883. Damn. Cassandra Perry says, oh, damn, Riley, that was kind of hot. I've never heard you get aggressive like that. <laughs> what? Aggressive? <laughs> Fuck. Damn, dude. Brooke, oh, thanks man. for the 10 bucks. Still here. Yep. Love you guys. Seriously, download all episodes for my commute. Really, that's awesome. Some of you, some of you, actually, an interesting stat, uh, our episode one on our podcast feed is our most listened to episode by like 438%. Yeah, some people which are going means back to the... A lot of you go back to the... The Starting very the beginning. Catalog. If you've watched some of our like early, early videos, it was it was a completely different show. Oh, just 
a completely, completely Lo- Loki, you guys are like reverting back to it, which I love. Yeah, that is true. It is kind of coming back in a way because I fell in love with the show because you guys were just like talking nonsense, and yeah. then you guys were like, "Oh, we got to read the Reddit stories," but now you guys are like doing this, which yeah, I that's love. true. Yeah, well, we've we've elevated it and brought the personality back in an elevated, well produced way. Yeah, I would say. yeah, and we're just gonna like like. We ha- again, we're like really, we're just going all in on the live stream. So yeah. we want to, we're gonna, we're gonna make this show so sick. Yes, I'm really excited. It's more. This show will be unrecog. The cool thing about this show is it's like almost unrecognizable by like every six months because yeah. we always make some like big improvement to try and like. Yeah, yeah, we're always like trying to make it as good as possible. Like, the, yeah. but the elements that you love, we're always gonna keep. You know, Still there. Yeah, I'm trying, but. I guess. You want to hit us with this next story, John? Yes, I do. Love Bubble says the skater boy has arrived. Yeah. Uh oh. I just changed my hairstyle. It's Mister. She said, "See you later, boy." She said, "See you." <laughs> Sam looks like the high school emo oh, boy with his hair like that. Also, oh wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. Can you all? All right, this is. This, can you all tell me what I, I'm gonna get a haircut soon? Could you give me haircut inspiration in my Discord? There we go. I would love. I would love some some uh, suggestions. There we go. Drop him in, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us what you want to see on his sexy little face. All right. This next story. (laughs) Emerald Pearson says, not this. (laughs) (laughs) That's so funny. My boyfriend is going to cry, and I don't feel bad about it. In fact, I'm excited. Yeah, make him cry. He deserves the tears. (laughs) Yeah, make make that bitch cry. Yeah. Yeah. He deserves. Sorry, he deserves I'm sorry. It. It's just three Red Bulls, guys. Guys, Riley is deep. Riley's deep in the stream. <laughs> Someone should donate a big chunk for him to shave it bald. <laughs> <laughs> also, bald is spelled B A L L E D. Bald. <laughs> <laughs> Sam <gasps> Sam doesn't go bald. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read the story. Okay. I trim. <laughs> This comes from Whole Elk 697. <laughs> and it's original post. Oh, sorry, sorry. My, my boyfriend is going to cry. <laughs> Riley too knows too much about us. He does, dude. He's too, he's too powerful. He's way too powerful. And he can he controls the switcher. He controls our fate and destiny. So, OP says, first off, on a random note, good luck to everyone who is in finals right now. I'm procrastinating studying for my final by writing this. I'm just so excited that I need to tell someone about this. I have been with my boyfriend for a little over three years now. I don't even think there are words to describe how I feel about him. My life changed in an unimaginable way when he entered. There was no one on the planet that could ever make me feel the love I feel when I look at him. Oh, that's cute. Also, shout out Brooke for the two bucks. Hey! The you, vibes, baby! The vibes. Um, I never thought I would find someone who treats me this way or that I even deserved a partner like him. You do, OP. He never fails to remind me that he thinks about, loves, and adores me. The other day, he made a passive comment about that any experience he has had is always so much better if my presence is there. However, my boyfriend is a huge fan of Legos. In fact, he loves Harry Potter Legos so much. You're fucking joking. I am joking. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Like... Massive Legos fan. He always buys smaller sets from Target and builds them in his free time to relax. Anyway, anytime we go to the mall, he always wants to walk around the Lego store just to marvel at the big sets. He can afford them, but he's not the type to spend money on himself. Every time we go in, I will always catch him staring at the Star Wars Cantina set. Always talks about how one day, maybe he'll muster up the courage to put down the $400 to fulfill his dream. Yeah, dude, because some of those Star Wars sets are huge. That is massive. Crazy. Thick. I, I got a Star Wars set in my room. Do you actually? Oh, yeah, you do. Yep, because pretty huge. Freaking. Thick. Uh, drop in the Discord if you want to see Riley's Lego set. Hey, One Done Millennial, thanks for the $6.90 tip. Make this public. Me- read more OKOP. Hamster Girl Britney stories. We'll get to it. We'll get it to it soon. We get in there. Um, but... He won't have to do that because I just ordered it off of the Legos website. Oh, that's Bam. cute. There we go. Because I spent more than 150 I get a small Santa set. So my plan is I'm just going to gift him the Santa set. And when we are alone, I'm going to surprise him with the cantina. The big kahuna. He has done so much for me this year. I can't imagine not giving this to him. So, yeah, he's going to cry. But I'm excited about it. Thanks for listening. And, and is there an update? We have an update. Let's go. I love these little wholesome stories. 
Are we, are we going to do like spooky stories? Next? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's next in the queue. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna if just... we have enough time, because uh -oh. we're about to run out of time. Oh Ruh -roh. Well, we'll Man. see. Hi, all. Sorry for not updating sooner. On to the update. I know at least one of you is, an interest, is interested in an update, but I wanted to enjoy the time with my boyfriend. One small thing to mention before I get into the update is that I ended up going back to the Lego store and buying the Boba Fett throne room set to match the cantina because I know he wanted it and, well, why not? LOL. If some are interested, I may even post updates as he builds it. He already completed the Boba Fett throne room and has started the cantina set. So on to the update. We did our normal gift giving with the family and I ended up putting the throne room under the tree, which he lost his shit when he opened it because he's been talking about that set for a while. After everyone settled down after a gift giving and started to eat and watch Christmas movies, I asked him if he could help me do something upstairs quickly. When we got upstairs, I told him I had forgotten to put something under the tree. When I pulled the box out from under my bed, he looked confused and started to unwrap it slowly. When he pulled the paper back, he saw the words, Mos Esli Cantina. I probably... Oh, he's going to shit himself. He stopped moving. With happiness. <laughs> yeah. He stopped moving for a few seconds because I don't think his brain had even fully registered what was in front of his eyes at the time. His eyes started watering slightly. He kept saying things like, no way, before he started grinning and tearing all the paper away. He started hugging me and asking why I'd spent so much money on him. And I told him because I loved him and I wanted him to be happy. He went through a mixture of jumping and excitement, hugging me and crying for several minutes. He kept talking about his plans to clear out the shelf behind him and put it on display in his work background. Aww. He then ended up surprising me by saying that he also had not put something under the tree because he wanted to have an intimate moment between the two of us. So they literally, he went into the closet and was laughing about how he had put it on the top shelf because he knew I wouldn't be able to reach it or see it. I'm very sure, LOL. When he came out, he was holding a tiny box. And when I opened that <laughs> box, inside was, guys, what was in his box? <laughs> Brooke, thanks for the 20 bucks! Hey! Baby Lemon jumping in our lemon character's arms. I know that's an emoji, but... Adorable. But we read it out it. anyways. Yeah. Thanks, Brooke. You've been, you've been sending in a lot of donations, Brooke. We appreciate you. Yeah. Um, he was holding a tiny box, and when I opened it, there was a beautiful diamond necklace on the inside. Oh, damn! Which obviously made me cry like a baby. After he went to put it on me, and we shared a nice moment together, kissing and hugging. Oh, yeah. I told him... Sorry, that... um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, sorry. It was nice. Yeah. I told him that I purposely saved the points I got from buying the set so he could get $50 off his next Lego set. Dude, she's, she's got the gift that keeps Bro, on giving. We love Legos. Oh, my God. He told me he wanted to get me a set so he could spend the duration of building his set while I also sat next to him. He always really cherished building a set with me or building one at the same time as me. So over the weekend, we went to the Lego store, and despite me saying I was happy with a smaller set that I would build slowly so I wouldn't finish before him because I felt bad since he bought yeah. me a literal diamond necklace. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like it's always respectful to let the other person finish first. Yeah, yeah. you always got to try to finish on time to get there. Yeah. I oh. agree with that. Shut the f*** up. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh huh? I thought you were about to be like, I have an okay story time. Well, I do. I knew it. I read your mind. Well, I, I don't. I don't, I'm not gonna say it, but I know you're not. That's why I, the physical just, connection I, was so good. I, <laughs> God. Okay. Cool. I just. Yeah. I'm too. It was so good. Wow. I can't believe I got that right. At the same time, dude. Fucking crazy. It was amazing. Love that for you. Yeah. Anyway. I'm here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Get a room! <laughs> he insisted on buying me a big set and bought me the Bowser set because he knows it's one of my favorite characters. We had a great Christmas and have been having lots of fun having designated building time together. Lol. Thank you all for the sweet comments. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday as well. Sheesh. Sheesh. I love that. Wow. Perfect collection of stories. I love also shout out to baby Godzilla for the 420 tip after thinking, I think y'all should make the stream public. It has so much engagement on it to date. YouTube pushes long videos and high looks, likes, views, comments, shares, algorithm public equals more engagement. Mm, public e public equals more work. 
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it dude. does. It does. Because if, if, if we go, if we if, like, well, we'll if we ha- we have our go public uh, uh, goal thing. But if we go public, then we've lost all the progress of recorded stories. Yeah, because like what we do is we private this stream just for our little sillies members. But then we um, what, what we what we do next is we'll uh, we edit them as regular episodes for like everyone else who isn't here, which I'm now realizing probably. I don't know if we've said it as explicitly yeah. uh, in the past. Yeah, because yeah, it comes basically... out like a couple weeks after. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna don't worry, we will have like other streams. Oh, this for week. sure. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the delicious form of torture of uh making it public. So yeah. that way we yeah. lose I mean, all the progress. Y'all do have forty <laughs> minutes left if oh, God. you really want to do don't it. Don't tell them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but wow, uh, that was really cute. I really, I really like that was super cute. You're welcome. And also Aoki says they chop it up so they can reuse us. Yeah. But then like everyone who like doesn't, it doesn't go to the live streams, see, sees how like lit the live streams are. Guys, they, they, they need to know what they're missing out on. Like yeah. this is right here. This right here. This is where it's at. This, this is, is the at, okay. Bro. Fam, fam. Yep. You know what this I'm talking about? This is fam, fam. Yeah. Facts. Yep. All right. Let's do a call in. Uh, hello guys. It's Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Brittany. How's it going? Good. I haven't talked to you since I talked to you about the DNA thing. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. That was, uh, that was like... Could you uh, give us the yeah, TLDR on yeah, that Yeah, give one us the TLDR. Quick? TLDR, I, f- I found out through Ancestry DNA who my birth father was, but you never seemed to right. want to respond or have anything yeah. to do with me. I remember. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Thanks for calling in about that. But what are you said? You had some recent wins. Uh huh. Yeah. Tell us about it. So back in January, it was January 9th. I officially became my own guardian slash conservator. Oh, really? There we go. Uh huh. I lost my guardianship over myself um, when I was 18 because I was not mentally stable enough to make wise decisions at the time. Yeah. And so my parents thought it best that they be my guardians while I work on myself and my mental health to get me to a point where I can function in society. So I recently became my own guardian. So that was a big win. That was 10 years in the making. How does it feel? That's amazing. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. It feels fantabular. <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. So, what are you doing with, I guess, like your 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 newfound independence and, like, I guess, uh, uh, responsibility over your own life? Like, 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 what, uh, what can, like, what have you done now that maybe you weren't able to do before? Well, one of the first things I did was I moved out of the group home that I was with living in. And got my very first apartment. Let's Woo! go. Let's that go. is huge. Awesome. Congrats to you. Are you like decorating and everything? It's a slow process. I, you know, I'm, I basically have like no furniture yet. You know, because sometimes independence starts off with, uh, you know, eating dinner on an old rickety office chair and a TV tray. It takes time to build it the home. It takes time. It takes yeah, time. Yeah. 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 Mhm. What uh And uh it's a two bedroom apartment. I get wow. it all to myself. Nice. Wow. I pay, pay 650 a month for it. That's a deal. Wait, That's pretty good. 650 a month for a two bedroom? That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, through through my county, I have this thing called a caddy waiver and they help uh, get people with disabilities places to live. Hell yeah. That's amazing. That's awesome. That Congrats. is a huge win. Another, another W. Another W. And you said you had one more. You said you had two major ones. What's the other one? Yeah. Um, I officially hit the longest time I've ever held a job. Huge. Um, Let's go. One and a half years, babes. Let's there we go. go. Hey, W's in the chat, okay? W's in the chat for Brittany right now. I feel like you're fucking killing it right yeah. now. Yo, I, 
I'm a Leo and I was born to freaking slay. <laughs> Let's go talk that talk, Brittany. Dude, slay the dragon and, and, and slay the world. Being applauded by the incredible OK, okay yeah, fam dude. on OK. Everyone's show. putting on. W put W's in the chat right now for Brittany. Let's go. Brittany, thank you so much for calling in and sharing those wins. Those wins were awesome and also so eloquently put. So we really appreciate you we're calling in. We're happy for you. We're so happy for you. Yeah. Shout out Brittany. W's in the chat. Kimberly finds his Brittany out here making the world her bitch. That's right. Amen. Oh, hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. right. Well, that thank you so much, so Brittany. Right. Now, thank you guys for being awesome people. <laughs> and tell Sophia I want to or I want to order some of her cookies. Oh, dude. Got it. Sophia's cookies are actually unbelievable. They're crazy. She made like a dozen. I may have eaten six. Like the other day. It was amazing. I did. I And I ate the last one. The OK Bakery. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, well, Brittany, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day and week. Deuces. All right, awesome. Later. See ya. <laughs> Deuces. Let's That's go. freaking awesome. Dude, Brittany, That's Brittany awesome. Got, brought the positive energy. Brittany, also, also, perfect collection of stories. Oh, wow. Because the whole set episode. Holy yeah. shit. The whole we didn't, I, don't I thought that was Riley's that. plan. Was that yeah, your plan? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah.